Hi, what's up? Today I was craving some delicious, warm, creamy butternut soup. So I decided to show you how I make mine. And it's going to be a very simple process and it's going to be super delicious. So watch until the end of the video and learn how to make this amazing recipe. Yeah, so if you have some butternut laying around and you don't know what to do with it, follow this recipe and don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. So without further ado, I'm going to move to my stove top and on medium heat, I'm going to place a pot, add some cooking oil, and then when the oil is hot, I'm going to add in one onion and click. Then I'm going to give my onion and leek a stir. So this is one medium onion and a small leek. I wanted to add the leek so that my soup would be more creamier. So I'm going to cook this until soft. If you've never had butternut soup, you should try out this recipe because first of all, I love butternut because it is usually so good. <laughs> Not only for children, but also for you, it is usually so good. So you have to try out. <laughs> if you're a mother, I know you've tried out butternut because I know you usually make it for your baby. It's butternut puree. So this recipe is for you and also you can <laughs> you can make some, some soup for your kids. When my onion and leek are ready, I'm going to add in two cloves of garlic. These are large cloves of garlic. <laughs> and then I'm going to stir and cook until my garlic is fragrant. The garlic already smells so good. So to my pot, I'm going to add in oregano and thyme. That is dried oregano and thyme. Stir in the spices. And also I'm going to add some salt. Stir. And it's already smelling so amazing in the kitchen. So once everything is ready, I'm going to add in my butternut. So I've washed, then I've peeled, sliced my, my, my butternut into cubes because I want them to, to cook more faster. So they're small cubes. The difference between a butternut and the normal pumpkin is that butternut has a sweet and nutty taste and also butternut is small and the normal pumpkin is usually big. So that is the difference. Make sure the butternut is combined with everything in the pot. Then I'm going to add in Two cups of water, stir, and then I'm going to cover this and let it simmer for around five minutes. And I'll check on my pot because I don't want my butter, my butternut to to burn. So if I need more water, I'll add more water. And if you have veggie stock, you can add veggie stock in place of water. So I didn't have any veggie stock, so I'm using water. I'm going to check on my pot and everything looks amazing and my butternut is almost cooking so I'm going to add in my coconut cream. Start in the coconut cream and then I'm going to give this about five minutes. So 
So this is how it's looking after five minutes and it's ready. So I'm going to turn off my cooker. I'm going to use a hand blender or immersion blender. And if you don't have this, you can use your blender and it will give you some awesome soup. But me today, I'm going to be using this. So I am going to blend everything until smooth. <laughs> Make sure that, make sure if you're using a hand blender, everything is nice and smooth. So just give it a good blend. Mine is ready and it's looking awesome. I love the color. Everything is nice and smooth. So I'm going to stop my blending and then disconnect my mini blender with my, yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> and then my soup is ready. So when ready, I'm going to serve mine in a bowl. Look how gorgeous it looks. Mine is nice and smooth. So the good thing about making your own soup is that you'll make it to your own consistency if you like runny it's okay if you like a little bit thick it's okay if you like thick it's okay and it will still be delicious mine is just not runny and not thick it is just there in between <laughs> so i'm going to serve mine in a bowl and i love everything about my soup because it has a good color and it smells amazing from the garlic and oregano and thyme and this is going to be filling so this is a recipe for one or two depends on how hungry you are very nice I love the consistency of my butternut soup and it's creamy and I love the coconut flavor because of the coconut cream that I added. So don't leave that out because it's going to make your soup even more delicious. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like watching my videos, don't forget to give my videos a thumbs up, like, share, comment and enjoy your butternut soup. Bye.